Here we are in 2016. There's a national conversation going on about transgender. Uh, we have some folks out there that um, are high profile, and so they've, ra they've raised this issue, if you will. But there appears to be a lot of misconceptions out there. There seems to be a lot of misinformation. And there also seems to be a lot of hate, uh, but also a lot of love in, in that same sentence. What does it mean to be transgender in 2016 from a workplace standpoint, from a business standpoint, from an educational standpoint? Paint that picture. Well, I know for the, from the business owner perspective, um, you know, we have within, within our community, the Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce, quite a few certified uh, transgender-owned businesses who have told us their personal stories of, of transitioning while holding a contract and wondering how that's going to affect the renewal of that contract. How do I deal with having to have this conversation with potentially the government agency who does not yet recognize LGBT as, as a business class? What is this going to mean for me when part of who I am is tied to my business? And in no other community is that really a factor anymore when your own identity could be the decision maker between succeeding or not and having that opportunity or not. Um, thankfully, we're seeing some terrific progress, particularly from corporate America, having the particularly the transgender communities back and saying, when you're with us, we're with you. So if you're a supplier to one of those companies, they're going to come to bat for you. But what we need now is to correct some of that patchwork, that similar to marriage equality. Uh, you know, it was as soon as you cross state lines, your marriage rights were different. Right now, particularly as a transgender person, your rights are so different from state to state where you can even use the restroom or go into a hotel, let alone own a business. So we need some uniformity there. And I think, uh, you know, as Mary Beth said, the Equality Act is a great step towards that. But it does leave a lot of business owners out of that conversation. And we need to make sure it's fully inclusive of everyone at every level of opportunity. Yeah, because we really started out in equal, uh, because there was an absence of the Equality Act of any kind of Employment Non-Discrimination Act and uh, encourage companies and workplaces to have their own policies and practices so people could come out at work. And historically, uh, transgender people often left a company in order to transition and came back as, as their full self. And what we're trying to, uh, working on is make, ensuring that companies understand the transitioning process. They don't want to lose the brightest and the best employees. They, this person has amazing strengths and skills and experience. And so helping them understand that it's an evolution and that um, they can support and have the policies in place so that people feel comfortable transitioning on the job as well as coming out on the job and uh, they'll continue to, to retain fabulous employees.